vlog. It's a week to call vlog. I'm actually going somewhere, so I decided to vlog because I know you guys love the car vlogs. And I have a couple things we should talk about. Let's talk about them. Why am I talking about stuff? Anyway, so uh, what do I want to talk about? Okay, first things first, I'm really excited about what's been going on with the collabs on my channel. I have so many collabs going on. I have so many collabs coming up. I'm agreeing to do collabs here, there, and everywhere. I just really am trying to make sure that 2021 is way more positive than 2020. Even though some great things happened to me in 2020, overall, it was just sort of a buzzkill, and I'm not into it. So, yeah. Uh, before I get too far ahead, the girl that I'm wearing is Altrey's Violetta, I believe, and it's a half wig, and she's in DR, like, chocolate cream. I'm obsessed, obsessed. I'm all about these half wigs. For me, they've been, like, way more comfortable than the headband wigs, and I don't know. I'm just loving them. I just got a little, it's Friday afternoon. I get off at noon at my job, so it's, like, a Friday afternoon. Just pull it up. So cute. Um, so you're going to see a ton of those coming up on my channel. If there's anything specifically you would like to me to talk about in terms of half wigs, go ahead and down below. Because you know, that's where the stuff goes, down below. Uh, some other housekeeping things. I did put a post up. Somebody was asking me, was asking me about wig coaching. I actually do wig coaching through my buy me a coffee. So there is a post in my community tab about that. You know what, I should probably make a video. You think I should make a video about it? Like what you get, how much it is, all that kind of stuff. I think I should probably make a video. Let's make a video. Um, maybe I'll make it a car vlog, but some people don't like car vlogs, so I'd rather make it just a regular video. I'm totally thinking out loud. See, you're you're with me when, when I'm thinking through stuff. Any other housekeeping things? Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of hauls coming up, and I just want to preface a few things. I pre-film, okay, and I pre-haul, so you're going to see a lot of hauls, but that doesn't mean like I just bought all these things. Um, some of these things were gifted to me, um, and I'm a wig reviewer, so when there is a really great sale, I use the money from YouTube, the money I make from Poshmark, and the money from Buy Me A Coffee to invest back into my channel. So, I know things are tough and tight with people. I don't want anyone, you know, to think, I don't know what people will think, but I just want to let you know, like, this is what I do, and I have a system for the monies that come in and how they're used. Um, when I get specific buy me a coffee donations, I do post it on my community tab what I use that money for. And so I just have a lot of hauls that I've had that I haven't uh, put up. And some of the wigs are reviewed, but most of them I haven't. And the reason I like to share them, A, it seems like you guys like them a lot. And also you get to see what I have. Like if I don't show you the hauls, you're not going to know what wigs I already have. And maybe you want to see a particular wig and you know you can always request that. So I like to do the haul so you can be like, yeah, I want to see this one, this one. Um, and so then I'll bump them up in the rotation. Okay. Okay. Next. Um, okay. Update on the one synthetic wig for a month. I'm having some challenges with it and this is this is the reality because I don't really go a lot of places I don't have occasion to wear wigs as much as I did like when I was working full-time and going here and going there I'm still doing the challenge but it's gonna be over a month like I'm basically just gonna do 20 or 30 days of wear and they're not gonna be consecutive because I just I can't get my wig reviews done and all the other content done if I only wear that one wig, if that makes sense. If this was like, you know, once the restrictions lift and things like that, and I'm going here and there, I can easily wear that wig to work every day and then be coming home and doing different wig reviews and things like that. Um, so in theory, it was a great idea. Uh, I'm still gonna complete this particular challenge, but I may, if, we, if you want to see a challenge like that, you wanna see other wigs, we'll just have to come up with some different parameters. So if you have any other, um, parameters that you think would work that would give you the same amount of information put all your thoughts about it down below okay um so that's all like the channel housekeeping things um just I, i'd like you to tell me down below like what kind of i've been doing a lot of different things on my channel adding a lot of things if you can let me know like what things you've been liking 
what things you've been loving, what things you would like to see more of, less of, whatever. Like, I just really want your input as to, like, what's up with the channel because it's, like, our channel, okay? I'm trying to do better with posting on my Instagram. Like, I focus so much on YouTube that I don't, I sometimes neglect my Instagram. So, I have a schedule put in place. I feel like it just is way easier for me if I have a schedule. So I do have a schedule of the types of posts that I'm going to post. So you should be seeing way more of me on Instagram. Um, all of you know, though, I do respond to comments. I do comment back and forth. So that's never an issue. It's just like your normal Instagram posts. But I know that that's how people like get to know what I have to offer and information and things like that. So I am going to be better in 2021 about the Instagram. Other than that... Getting ready in a month ish, a little over a month. Uh, it's my birthday. I will be turning 44. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I'm kind of dealing with that. Um, yeah, it's a, it's interesting growing older, especially when you don't feel older. I don't even know how you're supposed to feel anyway. So, you know. I think maybe I will do a video on things that I've learned over my life. I was going to do that last year, 43 things I learned for 43 years and I forgot to do it. But I can go ahead and do that. If you would like, put that down below. I'll do 44 things I've learned in 44 years. So if you'd like to see a video on that, I can do that because I made a list for last year. So a lot of that is still relevant and I will just update it and add it as needed. Uh, Frozen Tundra is back, as you can see. And I have to say, I'm, I'm a little bit down. I have mentioned before, and I've done a video on seasonal uh, depression. When you have ADHD, you are really prone to depression because you don't filter a lot of things out. So like, even if I'm watching, so I've been watching this new show on Netflix, it's called Ripper Street. And I'm like obsessed with serial killers and true crime and all that. And I find myself like crying over, you know, people, it's usually when people get their heart broken, like in a relationship. I'm so, such a sap. Um, but I know when I'm overly sensitive like that, it's either like, you know, my visitor's coming or I am just like knocking on depression store. I try to be very aware of that and I don't like hide it or feel bad about it. I feel like when I discuss it more and when I'm honest with myself, I can get out of it way quicker and when that stuff happens I just understand that I need to filter out like what I'm watching I need to listen to more music I've been obsessed with coffee jazz ASMR on YouTube they have these like animated it's like you're in a coffee shop you hear them like talking and making the coffees and you see the little steam I've been watching different ones of those and listening to the jazz music um, while I work at home and it has made a jillion percent difference so that's something I definitely suggest. I've listened to like ASMR channels in terms of sleeping. I tend to sleep best when it's like a heavy thunderstorm one. So yeah, that has helped a lot. Um, hopefully the weather is supposed to break here. It's just hard because even just like getting outside, like I can do that, but living in the country when it's very snowy, like the places where I could walk normally are very snowy. Like there's no other place to put the snow and they're backcountry roads, so I can't be walking like in the actual road of a backcountry road because people just want to plow through there. It's just dangerous for me. Um, but I potentially am relocating to more of a suburban city area in the summer, so I'll keep you, I'll keep tabs on that. But that's going to really change. Well, that's going to change my whole life in general. But I'll keep you informed. So other than that, yeah, that's what I have to tell you. Hopefully you like this. If there's any other topic you'd like me to discuss on a car vlog, go ahead and put that down below. If you haven't subscribed, um, please consider doing so. I do mostly synthetic weight related content. I do these car vlogs just to update and some people will have like a topic, maybe a personal topic or you know, whatever, an advice topic that they want me to talk about. And this is how I do it, a little bit more informally. And if you have subscribed, thanks so much, my doll baby.